Make sure you check out our new sponsor, the Health Blaze. All the information is in the description. Use the promo code above. Good fill one boxing at 18% off of all their natural products from deodorant, pomade, toothpaste, and much, much more. And they have additional discounts on their website as well. That's the healthblaze.com. Start December 20th. That promo code is good for 18% off. We go. What's going on? We back. Good fella Sports TV. We in the building. I appreciate everybody for checking in. One time for the one time we grind him, kicking off with boxing. And let's talk about uh, Anthony Yard and Kovalev. Uh, a lot of people told me that Frank Warren, he did an article on boxing scene. I'll link it to the description. If I forget, just hit me up in the email comment section and I'll try to get back to it. But said that Anthony Yard will take on the winner, Alvarez Kovalev, uh, too, at the end of the year. Um, I just don't see that happening. I know he got a replacement fight coming up real soon. But um, before we get into it, don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hell Blaze, at TheHellBlaze.com. Promo code GOODFELLA in one box to get you 18% off their all-natural products, lotion, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, and much, much more. Head over to TheHellBlaze.com. The promo code and website to get you 18% off. That promo code and website is in the description. Once again, appreciate everybody for checking in, but... um. Yeah, I don't see it, man. I don't see him going, you know, scared to fight Sullivan Barrera, you know, didn't want, didn't try to fight Marcus Brown, uh, not trying to fight any other contenders, going in to fighting this new guy they got. I thought he was supposed to fight Neymar Mamar or something. Then they got a new guy that he fighting. Then he probably fight the same caliber guy in the middle of the year or a couple more times at the end of the year. going to try to fight Kovalev and force the mandatory. So, from what I heard, man, um, Kovalev is just – you know, he was just too much. I tried to watch it last night. I'm sick, so I'm trying to, well, I'm feeling pretty good in the morning. I'm trying to get these videos in, so they might be few, far in between. But I, I get it in. I reached that five to seven minimum video today, I promise. But, um, yeah, I don't see it, man. With Kovalev, they said he was disciplined, you know, stuck behind the jab, you know, just just really fought a smart fight. And I don't see Anthony Yard breaking Kovalev, you know what I'm saying? Um, if he do... We, he gonna have to have a certified jaw because Kovalev is an intellectual fighter. He's real smart, man. You know what I'm saying? With Buddy McGurf in his corner, with however Buddy came at him, that Don Turner and Sergey Kovalev, I mean Don Turner and John David Jackson didn't come at him. Buddy McGurk got got through to him, and um, I heard he boxed a beautiful fight. And I don't just see J- uh, Yard, you know, fucking with that right now. You know, if they if they was really getting this kid ready to fight Kovalev, he'd be fighting Sullivan Barrera right now. Or at least in this next fight, he'd be fighting guys of that caliber of the division. You just can't go from fighting a caliber of guys he's been fighting to, to, to championship level. And I was telling people that last night about Teofimo Lopez. You can't go from saying, oh, he's he the greatest, but he ain't fought none of these guys. He need to be fighting, you know, um, some of these guys in there. Maybe a Pascal, you know what I'm saying? He back. You know, Sean Mahagan, even though he got beat up a couple of times, but that's not bad. Uh, Isaac Chulemba might be a little bit too much for him. Igner Malakoff. Blake Campillo, Joe Smith Jr., he fighting somebody. Um, Felix Valera, that's a good fight for him. I know he got, he got came up short a couple times, at least one time I remember in my mind, to one of the Europeans. Um, who else you got there? So, I don't, I mean, I'm not familiar with all these dudes, but Mike Lee, I don't even know who that is, but he need to be fighting some of them dudes. He need to fight at least two or three of them before he go into a Kovalev fight at the end of the year. And then he they can make the proper assessment if he's ready or not. And is it a chance he might get his ass whooped by some of them? Yeah. But, you know, you got to take those chances, man, because he can get fucked up messing with Kovalev. That jab is real, real straight. You know, and I see him, him and his coach do all this training. You know, and, and if Kovalev really can pace himself and really can just pick you apart and pick your shot, it's, it's going to be a problem. He uses angles. Yeah, I mean, Anthony already got a chance in hell. You know what I'm saying? He was better off trying to fight Marcus Brown, you know, and then going to a fight with uh with Kovalev. But, you know, if that's the, that's what Frank Warren want to do, then that's what we want to do. I'm glad that Anthony Yard be stepping up. But they got to have these fighters step up a totally different way. You can't go from fighting lower-level competition to moving up, fighting great competition. It don't work that way. Fighting Neymar, Mamar, and got man, no, you need to get you a Chalimba, you know, at some point before you get a Kovalev. You need to get you a Valera. You know, you need to get you a Barrera. You need to get you some of them dudes in there, man. If he don't get that type of level of competition, man, he going to get smashed, bro. And I can't believe a lot of people that pick up on that part of boxing, in my opinion. You know, where where prospects, you know, got to prove something. Now, people consider him a contender, but he a prospect. He ain't fought nobody. 
You got to go through the fire. You got to go through former world champions, good, solid journeymen, solid uh, power punchers. You know, you can't just keep a fighter away from a certain fighter. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of dudes do that. You know, a lot of these teams keep these dudes away from their weaknesses. They know in the gym. You know, power punchers, they keep them away from. You know what I'm saying? You know, a, a dude too slick, or we keep him away from that. You know, a lot of these dudes ain't fighting the proper styles they should be fighting coming up. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these dudes ain't fighting the proper styles. You got to fight everybody. You know what I'm saying? You got to fight the punchers, the slick guys, the durable guys, the former world champions. You know, before the former world champions, the the, cha the guys who just couldn't get over the hump and get a championship. And they continue, and they go up there and fight the contenders. You got to be brought up properly. Everybody want to bring that guy up. Hoping, you know, you know, so they won't lose it. Then hoping they just blossom and show up in the championship fight. That don't happen. That happened to Lomachenko, bro. He got beat up by Slito. It happened to Erickson Luba. How many times in boxing they got to show you, if you don't move a, a, a fighter up the right way, he going to get his ass with when he move up. Dervachenko with Danny Jacobs. He didn't move up proper. It's just the way it is. You know, and if you and then if you one of those dudes like Stevenson or some of them, them top-ranked title holders, and you get to the championship level, and you just start fighting bullshit competition, and then your skills, your skills gonna decline because you're really not challenging yourself and sharpening and sharpening your, uh, you know, sharpening your craft. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta keep fighting elite competition every once in a while. If these dudes fight twice a year. You should be fighting elite comp one time a year. But if you start fighting, fighting bums, you start fighting lower level competition, a competition everybody know you are gonna beat, and then you start getting stagnant. You know. You start, you know, just half-ass training. I'm going to beat this dude anyway. And by the time it's ready to suit up and boot up and it's go time, you got to fight a real cap pillar. Then your body ain't used to, you know, used to that type of warfare on that elite level. So that's why eventually the real going to come to the light, man. You know, but with um, with Yard, man, he better he better fight some Valeras, some Barreras, some, some, some Chalumbas. He better get some of them dudes in there before he step in there. With, with Kovalev, Kovalev, Kovalev gonna knock his ass out, man. If he don't be brought up the right way, and I'm not sold on his coach, you know what I'm saying? I'm not sold on his coach, man. But if if he punching, punching, like if he punching as hard as it seems, he punching, and he can go to the body like that into the head, he got a chance. But can he take Kovalev power? Because Kovalev gonna tap that chin. You know, Kovalev gonna tap, and if he ain't got no chin, oh man, it's, it's gonna be over like two rounds. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, he can get knocked. Either he going he got a small chance of knocking Kovalev out, and Kovalev got a big chance of knocking him out. You know what I'm saying? He gonna be in the UK's all overrated list. Watch what I tell you. Joshua Batiste probably got a better chance of whooping Kovalev right now than Anthony Yard. You know, but if Yard come in and he work Kovalev body up and down, he able to make him miss a little bit and. And make them pay. Well, that's only gonna come with fighting top competitions, not sparring top competition. That's only gonna come with fighting top oppositions. You know, that's only gonna come with with, with getting there with Barrera, getting there with Valera, getting in there with all them dudes. I mean, all them dudes that's in that top fifteen range. That's who you need to be getting in there with. Morat can help. You know what I'm saying? Dudes that challenge for titles, that challenge for, uh, former title holders. You know, all all that all that can help. You know what I'm saying? You know, even the ignorant Molokov. Why not? Why you want to sit here and fight these bums and then jump into a championship fight? And then you're going to get your ass whooped. You know what I'm saying? Then you, I mean, Frank Warren doing this dude an injustice. Put him in there and with some real contenders, man. And if he float, he float. If he sink, he sink. Because his battleship going to get sunk when he fight Kovalev. If he's just not going to magically show up, it don't happen like that. Yeah, a fighter, when he gets to the championship level, I mean, he put it all together usually back in the day. He earned that title. But y'all know what it is. Man, I'll be back with some more content. Good fellow Sports TV. Appreciate the brothers and sisters out there supporting the channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. We'll miss another video. We on Facebook, Twitter. You can reach out to me in the email if you got business questions, inquiry, responsibility. I'll be getting to a video request soon. Sorry, I've been a little bit under the weather, but I've been working on the editing tool for me to help that out. So I'm learning. But um, in addition to that, um, keep. You know, um, you know, keep checking out the Hellblaze, man. They got some dope all-natural products, lotion, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, deodorant, toothpaste, and much, much more. Head over to the hellblaze.com. 
promo code Goodfellow One Box and get you eighteen percent off. That website promo code description. Salute to them for giving your boy that opportunity. But um, you want to make a donation? That link's there as well. You can do me one better. Just share share the videos across social media. Let me know what y'all think about Anthony Yard versus Sergey the Crusher Kovalev. I think it's a body bag for Kovalev at this point. Y'all know.